we're seeing in the French Grand Prix. Berger taking Nanini. Well, Gerhard Berger, bit after that very good Ferrari pit stop, is now back up into fifth place. And uh, I would think it won't be too long before we see the McLarens come in because their lap times have started to uh, go down just a little bit and I would suspect that is this slow deterioration of the tyres of which we spoke earlier. So, at the same time, I would have imagined that they will be trying to go at least to lap 30 so that they only need to make the one tyre stop. Satoru Nakajima in the Lotus has got ahead of Nigel Mansell, unseen by you. And Berger pulls out. Berger going by PK and into fourth place. Into the pits again comes Larini in the background in the Ocella. And on lap 32 out of 80, Alain Prost continues just to lead Senna there in second place by 1.2 seconds to be exact. Michele Alvareto is now half a minute behind them in third position. Berger is up into fourth place. Pique is down to fifth. Nanini is sixth. Nakajima is seventh. Ahead of Mansell, eighth. Chiva, ninth. Capelli, tenth. De Cesaris is eleventh. They are all on the same lap. Mansell comes into the pit. And just ahead of him, Nanini as well. So Nanini and Mansell sitting on the same lap. And under 10 seconds is a very reasonable stop, but uh, Nanini got away ahead. He went, he of course was in front coming in, and so nothing's changed between those two. And here is Prost amongst quite a heavy group of uh, back markers. So he's got a bit of work to do. He'll want to get past these cars in the twisty bit. And there's the Ferrari team in set there, ready for presumably Alvaretto to come in. Berger, remember, has already made one tire stop. Well, there go the McLarens. Half a minute after them, Michele Alvaretto in third place. We are on lap 34 out of 80. And uh, as James has rightly pointed out, the, the Ferrari people with John Barnard masterminding things are all ready. Patrese comes into the pit. Ricardo Patrese stops the lap after Nigel Mansell and Senna is coming into the pit now. Ayrton Senna in second position on the 34th lap is coming into the pit. You are looking at Ricardo Patrese. We should be looking at Ayrton Senna. Cost, of course, will increase his lead owing to the fact that Senna is in the pits. I'm watching frantically, trying to watch with the monitor. And there goes, there goes Senna out of the pits. You just saw him drive out from the back of Patrese's car. Here he is, Ayrton Senna, rejoining the race, and he is still in second position. Just checking to see where Alboreto... Alboreto coming in now. So Senna is definitely in second place as Alboreto comes in to change tyres. Berger having already done so. Yes, that probably means that Prost will be in on the next lap but one to give the team a chance to, as it were, get Senna out and tidy it up and get ready for Prost. As Nakajima comes into the pits, you can see them sweep in. There's actually a bridging system here at Paul Ricard, which enables the cars to dive into and out of the pits at various levels. A bit confusing. Alvareta had an excellent pit stop, 7.8 seconds. Nakajima, not half bad either, 8.6 seconds. Well, Senna has just gone past in second, Senna's second place, of course. 21, well, nearly 22 seconds behind Prost. So he lost just about 20, just over 20 seconds on the road. And uh, we wait with bated breath for Prost to come in. Let's watch him and see how his time compares. If it's anything around 10 seconds, he should come out just in the lead. Those Union Jacks in the foreground are in the Williams pit. That looks like a good one to me. Spoke too soon. Well, that's just about it, and Senna has gone through. 
Senna has gone through and taken the lead. Here is Alain Prost. He's got to do it now. Now the fight is well and truly on, on lap 37. And that is one of the Benetons. It's Bootson, Bootson out of the race. Well, we thought he was out earlier on, but he rejoined. He's definitely out now, out of the race, out of the car. Thierry Bootson on lap 37. And the race order now on lap 38 is Ayrton Senna leading. Prost is in second place. Berger is up into third place. Piquet is fourth. Alboreto is down to fifth. Don't forget they both changed cars. In sixth position, it is Eddie Cheever, challenged by Capelli. Now, this is the race at the front. Alain Prost. Looking for Senna. And there he is. On lap 38. Still got half the race to run. PK comes into the pits. And he was in fourth position ahead of Michele Alberto, so there will be a change there. The world champion of 1987, 81 and 83. Oh, cracking stop. Nelson Piquet, 7.3 seconds. That's the fastest one I have timed today. And look at this gaggle. Cathy, Nanini, and Nanini has still got Senna behind him and Prost is catching. He's got Larauri in front of him. Prost is making the most of this opportunity. Now the gap between Senna leading and Prost second is down to 1.8 seconds and Senna surges past Gugelman and Larauri. Half distance this race. Prost is through. And Prost has just got Nanini in front of him whom Senna has already passed. Yes, all quite fraught with this traffic for the two McLarens. But Prost took an initial advantage. He's still got two cars between him and Ayrton Senna though. Prost, the gap is under two seconds between the two McLarens. 1.958 seconds to be correct, exact at the end of the lap. With Berger in third position, Alboreto is now fourth because Piquet was into the pitch, you will recall. We've got the order that we had before. Two McLarens, two Ferraris, except that this time it is Senna leading. Jonathan Palmer out of the French Grand Prix. You can see how sticky the tyres get from the stones that are adhering to it where it's been pushed off the course. And a sad Jonathan Palmer on lap 44 walks out of the French Grand Prix having got points in three out of the previous six rounds. An absolutely superb performance. Frost is getting closer and closer and closer all the time. 1.1 seconds was the gap at the end of the lap. Soon Alain Prost is going to be up on the rear wing of Ayrton Senna's McLaren. That's, that's the pit view in the background. I think it's uh, Vanini in the pit. No, it's one of the marches. It is uh, Capelli. Capelli has gone into the pits and changed tyres. As Alain Prost now exits that Corbe de Cine. It's nearly about 180 miles an hour, believe it or not, that they take that corner at. Now he's round La Tour. Well, I remind you, it was 1.9 seconds. Then it was 1.1 seconds. They're coming through to complete their 47th lap in this 80-lap race. Senna now. Frost now. Gap 1.5. Senna closing up on Yannick Dalmas in the Lola. Locks up his tyres. Has he flat spotted them? If he has, that will disturb the balance of the wheels and the car. No, he wouldn't have flat. Very unlikely to have flat spotted that in such a short one here. And then you see the puff of smoke. He got off the brake pretty quickly and he didn't. The tyre was doing a bit of turning. It wasn't all on the same spot. Very unlikely to have flatted the tyre in just that one... Uh, braking attack but it was a, certainly a mistake from Senna either that or he's got some sort of brake grabbing problem but it's not more like he just loaded the car up a bit and you're looking at Alboreto and Berger in third and fourth places so there is a fight for third position which at the moment Michele Alboreto is consolidating because Berger's dropped back a bit yes well 
uh, Alvarez was going very quickly indeed. He put up his fastest lap a couple of laps ago, and here we see the manoeuvre as he gets inside Berger for the left-hander just before they come out onto the pit straight. And we'll have a look to see if Berger possibly is in trouble, but I doubt it. I think Alberto had uh, put his boost right up for a couple of laps. And Nigel Mansell retires. Mansell out. Now, obviously, I don't know what the problem is. I'd see Nigel Mansell sitting there, and uh, he was just checking very quickly in 10th position at the time. And Nigel Man ninth position. Nigel Mansell was ninth. But either way, sadly, Nigel Mansell on lap 50 is out. And Frost has now closed right up or nearly up to centre that's the closest he's been since the the two McLaren's pit